Clive. Oh, that good. You're making a lot of noise. Good evening and welcome to Friday Evening Prayer and it's good to welcome our dear sister Sue and those who've not logged in and on our Facebook page it's good to welcome our dear sister Mary and I hope and pray that all is well with Mike. So we begin this evening by offering our prayer the Divine Office of Vespers for week three of Lent. So now we light our candle this evening and we remember all gathered here and all God's children wherever they may be in the world who are struggling, who are suffering in mind, body or spirit. And we call on Father, Mother, God to bless them and to bless each one of us here. Amen. Let me just move the incense stick. Sorry about that. And now we ring our bells for unity and peace. And good evening to Claudia, to Brother Ray and Brother Cadge. And it's good to welcome you to prayer. So now we begin with the Office of Vespers. O God, come to my aid. O Lord, make haste and help me. Glory be to the Father, Mother God, to the Lord Jesus Christ, our teacher, to the Holy Spirit of God, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. And our hymn this evening is a hymn chosen for Lent. Lord Jesus, think on me and purge away my sin. From earthborn passion set me free and make me pure within. Lord Jesus, think on me with care and woe oppressed. Let me thy loving servant be, and taste thy promised rest. Lord Jesus, think on me, amid the battle strife, in all my pain and misery, be thou my health and life. Lord Jesus, think on me, nor let me go astray, through darkness and perplexity, point thou the heavenly way. <clears throat> And now for our first antiphon. The Lord is great, our God is high above all gods. And now we read Psalm 134, it's in two parts. Praise the name of the Lord. Praise him, servants of the Lord, who stand in the house of the Lord, in the courts of the house of our God. Praise the Lord, for the Lord is good. Sing a psalm to his name, for he is loving. For the Lord has chosen Jacob for himself, and Israel for his own possession. For I know that the Lord is great, that our Lord is high above all gods. The Lord does whatever he wills, in heaven and on earth and in the seas. He summons clouds from the ends of the earth, makes lightning produce the rain. From his treasuries he sends forth the wind. The firstborn of the Egyptians he smote, of man and beast alike. Signs and wonders he worked in the midst of your land, O Egypt, against Pharaoh and against his servants. Nations in their greatness he struck, and kings in their splendor he slew. Sion, king of the Amorites, and Og, the king of Bashan, and all the kingdoms of Canaan. 
He let Israel inherit their land, on his people their land he bestowed. And now we pray together the Gloria. <clears throat> Glory be to the Father, Mother God, to the Lord Jesus Christ, our teacher, to the Holy Spirit of God, as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. The Lord is great. Our God is high above all gods. The second antiphon, sons of Israel, bless the Lord. Sing a psalm to his name, for he is loving. And we continue with Psalm 134. Lord, your name stands forever, unforgotten from age to age. For the Lord does justice for his people. The Lord takes pity on his servants. Pagan idols are silver and gold, the work of human hands. They have mouths, but they cannot speak. <clears throat> they have eyes, but they cannot see. They have mouths, but they cannot speak, and they have, uh, sorry, they have ears, but they cannot hear. There is never a breath on their lips. Their makers will come, become like them, and so will all who trust in them. Sons of Israel, bless the Lord. Sons of Aaron, bless the Lord. Sons of Levi, bless the Lord. You who fear him, bless the Lord. From Zion, may the Lord be blessed, he who dwells in Jerusalem, we pray the Gloria. Glory be to the Father, Mother God, to the Lord Jesus Christ, our teacher, to the Holy Spirit of God, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Sons of Israel, bless the Lord. Sing a psalm to his name, for he is loving. And the third antiphon, all people will come and adore you, Lord. And now we have a canticle reading from the book of Revelation. Great and wonderful are your deeds, O Lord God Almighty. Just and true are your ways, O King of night and day. Who shall not fear and glorify your name, O Lord? For you alone are holy. All nations shall come and worship you, for your judgments have been revealed. We pray the Gloria. Glory be to the Father, Mother God, to the Lord Jesus Christ, our teacher, to the Holy Spirit of God, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. All peoples will come and adore you, Lord. <clears throat> and now we have a special reading for this third Friday of Lent. <clears throat> Excuse me. And it's from Jason 5, 16 and 19 to 20. Confess your sins to one another and pray for one another and then you will be healed. My brothers and sisters, if one of your number should stray from the truth and another succeed in bringing him back, be sure of this. Any man who brings back a sinner back from his crooked ways will be rescuing his soul from death and concealing innumerable sins, sorry, and canceling innumerable sins. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. And the short responsory, I said, Lord, have mercy on me. I said, Lord, have mercy on me. Heal my soul, for I have sinned against you. I said, Lord, have mercy on me. Glory be to the Father, Mother God, to the Lord Jesus Christ, our teacher, to the Holy Spirit of God, I said, Lord, have mercy on me. And the third antiphon, to, sorry, the third, for the third week of Lent, the Magnificent Antiphon, to love your neighbour as yourself is far more important 
than any sacrifices. So now I invite you to join me for the beautiful canticle of Mary, the Magnificat. My soul magnifies the Lord and my spirit rejoices in God who is my Saviour. He looks on his servant in her lowliness henceforth. All ages will call me blessed. The Almighty works marvels for me and holy is his name. His mercy is from age to age on those who fear him. He puts forth his arm in strength, and he scatters the proud hearted. He casts the mighty from their thrones, and he exalts the lowly. He fills the starving with good things, and he sends the rich away empty handed. He protects Israel, his servant, that's you and me, and all God's children who surrendered their heart to their loving God, as he promised to our fathers Abraham and his sons forever. Let us together pray the Gloria. Glory be to the Father, Mother God, to the Lord Jesus Christ, our teacher, to the Holy Spirit of God, as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. To love your neighbour as yourself is far more important than any sacrifices. And now we come to our evening intercessions. Let us pray to the Lord Jesus who sanctified his people by his own blood. Response. Lord, have mercy on your people. Christ our Redeemer, through your suffering, help us to mortify our bodies and stand firm in every trial. May we be ready to celebrate your rising from the dead. Response, Lord, have mercy on your people. As prophets of God's kingdom, may Christians make known throughout the world and may they confirm their message by lives of faith, hope, and love. Response, Lord, have mercy on your people. Lord, give strength to the afflicted and give us the will to do everything to help and comfort them. Response, Lord, have mercy on your people. Teach the faithful to be united with your passion in times of trouble and distress. Let the power of your salvation shine forth in their lives. Response, Lord, have mercy on your people. Lord, giver of life, remember those who have died. Grant them the glory of your resurrection. Response, Lord, have mercy on your people. <clears throat> Excuse me. And now we come and we bring our own personal requests to the Lord God. And we do this by using our gift of free will and asking the Lord Christ to come into our heart and share with the Lord God all your worries, your concerns, maybe fear, anxiety, or maybe a member of your family is unwell, or someone you love is hurting. Name the issues, bless them, and give them to Christ in a mindset of gratitude, but leave them with him, and in trust give thanks to God every day until that request is heard. But remember, all prayers are always answered by God. And if there's a delay, there's a reason for it. So we just give thanks in faith. So let us be still now as we come and we bring whatever ails us to the Lord God. Be still.
Visualize the Lord Jesus in front of you, his arms outstretched, calling you to come and surrender all that's weighing you down. Share it with the Lord God. I wish that I could change the way you feel and somehow bring it in. To my ordeal, my heart sings his old refrain. I could recapture the joy and the rapture if I could have you back again. I could recapture the joy and the rapture if I could have you back again. If only I could have you back again. As you sit quietly wherever you are in the world, be mindful that our God who has many names and none loves you and cares about you and me. And all we have to do is to name those issues and give them to God. So see the Lord Christ before you and he's calling you to come. He's calling you into a loving embrace so that he can reawaken in your heart that you are a much 
beloved child of God. Just sense the peace of God and allow your heart receive all that love. The love that was given to your spirit the moment you were conceived in your mother's womb. When God breathed the breath of God into your mother's womb, into your spirit. Come home to this amazing love. For there is no greater love than to know that you are in love and that God loves you. How blessed are we knowing that God is here with each one of us. So we celebrate our gratitude to God. Unlike the 10 lepers who were healed, only one returned. And Jesus said, did I not heal 10? Where are the other nine? And I guess that's life today. Many want miracles from God. And when they get what they want, they scarper, they forget. How fickle are we? But we're not fickle because we're here and we're giving thanks to God for God's amazing love. Let us treasure that love. But let us nurture that love through times of quietness, stillness, in the presence of all that is. And I bring each one of you here. I bring our dear sister Sue and her family and her friend Kath and Wolf, who now are terminal. I bring all my brothers and sisters and the friends of our community especially those who are hurting and in need of our prayer. I bring all our friends on social media, but especially here on Facebook. I bring our dear sister Mary and her husband Mike in Michigan, for Claudia and brother Ray and dear brother Kaj, and dear Paula, his wife, and their two sons, Lucas and Marcus. We bring Emily and dear brother Matthew. And thank you, dear Mary, we bring the Teo community a season of joy and glorification. Wow. I bring dear Amir and her family and her dear friend Moira and their son, Joanne, and her friend Cora. But I also pray for, for Emir's son and daughter, that they're given the strength to be strong in mind and body and spirit. For our dear brother Ron, for Scott, for dear Emily, good afternoon from the US. How wonderful to have you with us. And for dear Marvane, for Mike, for John O'Donnell, and yes, blessings to you, dear brother, to Magdalena, dear sister Magdalena, and we hold you and your own struggles with fibromyalgia. We bring your sons and your daughter-in-law, Kim. We also bring your dear friend, Chris, who had surgery on Wednesday for a bilateral mastectomy, and we pray She's making a good recovery, and we pray for her mom. I pray for Sister Rita and her health issues, but I pray for all God's children, wherever they may be, but especially in Syria, where so many are suffering needlessly. We pray that the United Nations 
can continue to bring medicines, food, clothing, blankets and shelter. They've lost everything through the in incessant bombings from Russia and their own Syrian army. We pray for the children of God who've given up on God, for those who are struggling and suffering with mental health issues. And we mustn't forget those on death row and those in our prisons, the men, women and young people. And finally, we remember all our religious leaders and politicians. And we remember now the farmers here in the United Kingdom, especially in Northern Cumbria, where we live here near Scotland, where the snow is quite thick and they're in the middle of lambing. We pray for God's little creatures that they will be saved. So let us bring all our requests to God as we pray the beautiful prayer that Jesus gave us, the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, Mother God, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give to each one of us here at this hour our daily bread. Forgive us our disobedience, our selfishness and stubbornness of heart. Protect us from the forces of evil and the Antichrist. Lead us not astray, O Lord, for thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. And our closing prayer for the third week of Lent. <clears throat> Lord, open our hearts to your grace. Restrain us from all human waywardness and keep us faithful to your commandments. We make our prayer through our Lord Jesus the Christ, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Oh, and I forgot to pray for Brother Paul, for his dear friend George, whom he's hoping to care for indefinitely, who will be coming out of hospital either today or tomorrow. And now we conclude with the beautiful prayer that the Holy Spirit gave to our very own Sister Mary for the Franklara Abbey of Peace and Compassion, for Finland, for America, and for here in Cumbria. I, Sister Mary, in Christ Jesus, believe so lack of finances for the Franciscan sanctuaries of hope. Be you removed in the name of Jesus. Father, Mother, God, we come to you in praise and thanksgiving for the dream you gave to our founder, your dream of a Franciscan sanctuary of hope. We pray it will be a sanctuary of hope with a warm heart, an open mind to call, <clears throat> excuse me, to call all people out of darkness and lead them to the Divine Spirit, a sanctuary of hope that heals hurt lives and helps all people, a sanctuary of hope that leads us all in the way of peace, the peace of St. Francis and St. Clare of Assisi to serve Father Mother God, the poor and the marginalized, a sanctuary of hope that knows no division of culture, class, or race, a sanctuary of hope that embraces the vision of Jesus and Francis to embrace all beliefs and none, and a sanctuary of hope that welcomes brothers and sisters of different faith communities dedicating their hearts and their lives 
as lay monastics embracing Celtic Franciscan spirituality, a sanctuary of hope of the masters for the people, high as the ideals of Jesus and low as the humblest human, a loving sanctuary of hope and friendship to the animal kingdom and a sanctuary of hope that inspires courage for this life and hope for the life to come. Let us pray. We put this in the hands of our Father, Mother God, in the hope that St. Francis and Clare will intercede with us. And now two quotes from Scripture, 9, um, 9 Corinthians, sorry, 2 Corinthians chapter 9, verses 8 and 10. When summer returns and the roses are again in bloom, and God is able to bless you abundantly, so that in all things at all times, having all that you need, you will abound in every good work. And the second quote, now he who supplies seed to the sower and bread for food will also supply and increase your store of seed and will enlarge the harvest of your righteousness. And we say, thank you, God, for the outpouring of your Holy Spirit on our dear sister Mary, for that beautiful prayer of petition as part of our 40-day novena of prayers. So now, my dear friends, let us close with the Celtic blessing. The blessing of heaven, the blessing of earth, the blessing of sea and sky on those we love this day and on every human family. The gift of heaven, the gift of earth, the gift of sea and sky, the gifts of brother sun and sister moon and the gifts of the animal kingdom. May they reign supreme in your heart, now and forevermore. Amen. And as I blow out this flame, I thank the Lord Christ for coming to each one of you and for affirming in your heart that you are a beloved child of God and that all your requests have been heard and will now be answered. Amen. So dear friends, let us now go from this place and give thanks to our Father, Mother, God. Namaste, Shalom, Inshallah, Paxet Bonum, Om Shanti, Solo di Carita, Salam Alaikum, and may the peace of the Son of Peace from the Queen of Peace, become your peace, for you are here as God's prayer partners for unity and peace in the Cathedral of God, the landscape. So thank you one and all for giving up your time and coming here to pray with all of us. I wish you all a beautiful day there in America and a relaxing evening here in Europe. Till we meet again, God bless you.